Please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I'll be letting a mystery wheel decide my Bloxburg house build. This challenge has always scared me because I like to plan everything out, especially when it comes to my build. And this is the complete opposite, but I believe that you need a challenge every once in a while. So we'll just see how this turns out. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first wheel that we're gonna spin is for our house budget. Honestly, I'm hoping for anything over 50K. Whether it's a big build or a small build, I still want to have a good amount of money to decorate properly and not feel like I could have done more. So this is really important and hopefully the odds are in my favor. So the wheel is currently spinning and we got a budget of 25K. What the heck am I supposed to do with 25K? That's the second worst option. Are you kidding me? Like the challenge just started. This is the first wheel and I have 25K. The next wheel we're spinning is the plot size. It's spinning, it's spinning. And we got five by five. Oh my goodness, okay, so that works. So we're basically gonna be building a starter house. The next wheel will decide our house style. It's spinning, and I got pick one. Okay, so I'm kind of scared to step out of my comfort zone. I've never built a modern house before, but I feel like this will be the easiest to do with our plot size and also money-wise. So let's just, let's go with modern. Let's try something new. Now we're gonna see how many levels our house is gonna be. I kept it simple. One story or two stories. And we got two stories. Because we got such a small plot, I feel like this should work. We could have like the bathroom downstairs and the bedroom upstairs. We do have one more wheel and it's the emoji challenge, but we're not gonna spin that quite yet. Stay tuned until a little bit later to see what the emoji wheel is all about. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into build mode. Okay, so we're in build mode and I went ahead and got 25K and some change, but this is perfect because now there's no way that we're gonna go over our budget. So we have to just keep track and it's easier to keep track in build mode instead of hopping in and out of build mode to see how much our house value is. So that's good. But yeah, like I said, we're basically building a starter house and I've never really built a modern home before. So this is new territory for me. I spent some time scrolling on Google images just for some inspiration and I think I have an idea for what I wanna do. So here's one wall, then we're gonna go back by one, and then this is, this is, this is our five right here. It doesn't look like much because it isn't. But how is this layout gonna be? So the front door could be on this wall and we need some stairs too. So this is where the bathroom can be. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So front door, stairs over here somewhere. The kitchen and dining area. Maybe have like a little balcony. I don't think it'll be accessible, but it'll be cute for the details. Maybe high ceilings too. I think that's pretty um, common for modern houses. One thing about modern houses is that I don't think I could really see myself living in a modern house because I don't know, I don't really get like comfortable vibes from a modern house. Modern houses have always felt more like facilities to me rather than a home. 
Like, I want that cozy vibe, you know? Um, okay, wait, I'm, I'm really trying to figure this out. I'm thinking of having a little fence right here, and this is the sleek glass railing, and I think it looks really good. Another thing about modern houses are definitely, like, the big floor-to-ceiling windows, so that's really important. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some pillars. Okay, perfect. Now we have to figure out, um, which stairs we're gonna use. We still have a decent amount of money, uh, but I don't want to, like, go crazy. This should work. This should work. I'm gonna go ahead and color this while I'm at it. Okay, okay, I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it. Let's fill this in. Let's just, let's just do this now. I'm gonna add wall trim. We don't want people to know we were on the budget. You know what I mean? Like, you still have to add the little details. You still gotta do that. But it's the little things. And we don't have to add the wall trim down here since we're having super high uh, ceilings. I mean, we still have a decent amount of money left. I'm super proud of that because I thought I would be broke by now. I could close it, but I like the idea of being able to look over. So we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. And I need to add the floor right here. Okay, we're doing well. The roof, either flat or like the slanted one, but I don't really want to use the slanted roof. 138 isn't bad. I thought roofs were way more expensive. Okay. We could go ahead and add another roof, and that's what we have. Kind of tempted to do a seashell, but I don't know. Let's do the roof. Let's do the roof. I like that. I think that looks decent. And now we also have to focus on the doors and windows. That's super important. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the floors. Maybe we can figure that out now. Look how good it looks in linen, but I'm staying away from linen. Ugh, I don't like the feeling of having like tile around the whole house because it's going to be real cold and your feet are going to be freezing. I haven't used this floor in a while because I've been using plywood, but I don't like plywood in this color. Pink floors. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. I'm going to do pink floors. But I'm thinking in the bathroom, I could do something different. Okay, we have 20k left. The money is going down. We still have to decorate and add the windows and doors. The windows and doors are high-key expensive. I like this. This um diagonal bordered marble. That is very that is very cute. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I didn't add the wall trim outside. It's covered by the roof. We don't even need it outside. Let's get some money back. It's like a tax refund right now because we just got some money back. Okay, let's figure out what doors we're using and where they're going to go. So we have these modern doors that's really really big so no oh uh, we have this this is a sliding door but because it's sliding it has that little thing on the side this is literally a modern tall glass door i'm excited for the windows i really am oh these the framed windows so we have this one and the horizontal uh I think horizontal will be nice. Mm, we can use this right there. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. Let's just leave it as it is. Let me see what this color floor looks like. Linen. Do I really want to stay away from linen? Not really. Am I caving? Am I switching to linen? Yes. Yes, I am. Because linen is just so cute. And it's really what the house was missing. It was really missing linen. It looks... Okay, I like that a lot better. Now that we figured that out, uh, there's not going to be a window in the bathroom. Should there be? Mm, 
Yep, right there. Right there. Something small. Because you already have this ginormous door. Ooh, wait, no. 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 Because, uh, I hate... I really hate when it's uneven. Like, I wish these lined up. But then again, who's really going to be... Like, you shouldn't even be on my property anyway. So why are you looking at the back of my house? You know what I mean? So, okay, let's just keep it. Let's just keep it. And... Are we done? Oh my goodness, we have 12k! 12k left to try and decorate the inside? Goodness gracious. Oh, I didn't even add the door right here. See, I'm just... I'm just a mess. Six hundred dollars. That's how expensive this door is. Oh my! Oh my goodness! We're going broke. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> we can't quite continue this yet. We can't do it. You know why? Because it's time for the emoji challenge. I can't just, I can't just not do it. So let me go ahead and explain to you guys all the emojis. So the stop sign means I have to stop in 10 minutes. 10 minutes to do interior. I don't know about that one. The swapping emoji means i have to switch the colors and textures of the floors with the walls so basically i would have linen for the walls and then i'd have gray floors and this is just gonna completely ruin my build and i really don't want that one because it's gonna make me want to quit this entire challenge the money emoji which is something i'm really rooting for means i now have an unlimited budget so that would be amazing because we're kind of struggling our pockets are starting to hurt the no camera emojis means i cannot rotate the camera anymore and that will suck and the lock emoji means i cannot use advanced placing anymore which would also be really bad because the house is small and I want to be able to like squeeze things in if necessary. And I won't be able to do that without advanced placing. And the map emoji is supposed to be a blueprint. But um, they don't have a blueprint emoji. So that just means I have to change the layout of the inside of the house. And once again, that is one thing I don't want to do. Because that would just ruin everything i mean i think the easiest thing to do if i get that emoji is just to switch the bedroom with the bathroom but that's just extra work for no reason okay so the wheel is spinning and we got i have to stop in 10 minutes i set my timer on my phone and you guys are going to be able to hear it go off but let's go ahead and figure this out. Uh, we're gonna have... Oh my god, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have... Uh, we're on a budget. We're really on a budget. But I'd love to use this because it's modern. So we can have this right there. Something like that. I don't know. Okay, I do want a welcome mat. Do we need a welcome mat? This is on the outside, but still. We'll have the welcome mat. And then we need a simple carpet uh, here at the end. Okay, there's 8 minutes and 40 seconds left already. I'm try I'm being too picky. I'm being too picky. Modern, modern cabinet. Uh this one. Okay, a uh, simple fan. I guess we're using the simple fan. I have $2,000. Why is it being colored like that? That is awful. Like how is that black? Some storage. We can have the modern clothing rack. I don't really care what color everything is at this point. Then continues to color everything. Obviously, I care. Well, maybe we could add like one tree. This is this is really taking me off because why? Why did it look like that? Okay, let's do stylish. Stylish looks modern. We have a minute and 50 something seconds. Okay, stylish. Where where is stylish? Hello? Hello? Stylish? stylish? That's it's style. It's style. I want it marble. I want it marble to match a little bit. Oh, God, no. That's awful. 
that is that's terrible 30 seconds 30 seconds let me add one tree one tree where's oh, I, I i need a tree i need a tree ew that's so bad five four three two one i forgot my alarm is copyright music uh no okay well uh that's our house Okay, so actually the tree doesn't look that bad, but we have we have our windows in the front. Now let's go inside and see what's going on. So here's the living room. It's it's okay. We don't even have a stove, an oven, a microwave at that. But I mean, at least we can get a few things just, you know, out of the fridge that we don't have to prepare. Like, I didn't even add a toaster. This is the dining area. The restroom. Here's what it looks like. No sink. Oh my goodness. I didn't even add a sink. No. No toilet paper. So y you can't even wipe. This is just... This is so bad. It started off well. It had potential. But it just went downhill the little balcony and last but not least the bedroom you can't even really walk on the sides i definitely feel like i failed i mean i didn't even add a sink that's really blowing my mind i really wish i had have gotten like the no advance placing because at least i still would have been able to finish everything and make it look better than it does now but yeah let me know what you guys think about this house and how i did for this challenge but do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below once you are subscribed click the bell button so you get notified whenever i post a video and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.